Hi guys, Techman here. This is the EP500 Pro from Bluetti. It's not a new device, it's been out for a few years now. But recently Bluetti have been having some fantastic deals on this excellent power station. It's a relatively large unit and it's not for everybody. It's primarily marketed as a home backup system. The 500 in the EP500 name comes from the size of the battery within the unit. And so the battery inside is a 5120 watt hour lithium iron phosphate battery. I'm not going to go through all the specifications that are available on the Blue Eddy website, but I'll pop a few things here on the screen and I'll pop a link for the power station on the Blue Eddy website. Now, why am I talking about the EP500? On this channel, we generally discuss portable power stations. And the EP500 is portable. Well, kind of-ish. Perhaps you could say it's semi-portable. I mean, is that even a category? But, well, what do you think? It does have wheels and it can be moved around. But as I said earlier, it is marketed as a stationary power station and a backup for your house. So in that sense, I think semi-portable does make sense. It is heavy and it's a power beast. I mean, look at it, it comes to an average man's thighs. The portable element comes from the wheels. Two small wheels at the back that turn and can be locked. And then two large wheels at the front that don't turn. And although it can be moved easily, thanks to the pivot wheels at the back, steering it can be tricky. I kind of wish it came with a remote gamepad or something of that sort. That would be awesome. I mean, you could try program your own gamepad and see if you can get it to work with the Blue Eddy. Anyways, I've been playing around with it and so far I've been quite impressed with this unit. The DC and solar charging efficiency on this unit seem to be pretty good. I'd say around 80 to 82% on some of the early tests I've done on this unit. And we do talk a lot about efficiency on this channel. So 80 to 82% is quite good. But more about efficiency in a future video. As always, there's room for improvement. And the Blue Eti app is a good place to start. The app could be much better. And I'd like to see a lot more demographics in the app, just like you can see in the screen here. And there's also a few other things that I've noticed, but we'll come to those things a little later. But coming back to the question in the title of this video, is the EP500 still worth it in 2025? Personally, I think if you can pick up one of these units for under £2,000 or under $2,000, it's one to consider. Just make sure it fits your requirements and you're able to use the full capacity and the full features of this unit. Now, one thing that does bug me is a lack of accessories. I mean, a solar cable should come standard with this power bank. But in the accessories bag, I had an AC power cable, but no solar cable. And when I did try to reach out to Bluetti, they told me they didn't have any spares. They told me right off the bat to look on Amazon or somewhere else. And guess what? There is no solar or aviation cable on Amazon. So accessories are rare and hard to find, and others have moaned about this also. So this might be a deal breaker for you. I have read online that the AC300 has the same solar input, the four pin aviation port. And so that might be an option, but look at the prices on the Blueetti website. That's pretty darn expensive. I would have much preferred if they used the XC60 or perhaps even my favorite, the Anderson Powerball connector for solar input. But for now, I'm going to carry on trying to test this unit and use it to its full capacity. We'll discuss the pros and the cons and how I think Bluetti can further improve this unit in a follow-up video. Let me know what you think of the EP500 in the comments below and any suggestions that you may have. I'm sorry I haven't been able to make many videos of late. I've been so busy with so much going on. But hey, we've got something new to test on the channel now. And I'm so excited! Again, any suggestions you have drop them in the comments below. Personally, I think Bluetti can produce another power station of this sort. What I would like is them to make it a little thinner. The wheels can be much better, perhaps having pivoting wheels at all four sides. And that gamepad, well, it might just work. Right guys, as always, thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay green, and I'll catch you in the next one.